Hello again, everyone. Welcome to the third installment of the ICOM IC7300 from A to Z. Today we're going to talk about the band edge function. You can follow along on pages 3-7 through 3-9 in the ICOM manual. And we talked about this a little bit uh, in the previous episode. And I showed you about when you tune out of the band, you get the beep and the dotted, the solid line changes to dotted on the transmit indicator. And when you go out of the amateur band, you can't transmit. And when you come back in, it changes to solid and you can transmit. And again, I've got my power set to zero, so we're not actually interfering with anyone. So this function is on by default when you get the radio new if you haven't changed anything. We're going to look at where that function is and some options for it. So if you press menu, you go over here and you press set, and then you press function, and it's actually right on the first page is band edge beep. And one thing I'll talk briefly about, on these menu screens, you have multiple ways of going through the menu. Um, you see the arrows here. If you press the down arrow or the up arrow, you go through it a page at a time, and you can see this little locator bar that shows you where you are relative to the menu. You can also use the tuning dial, and you can scroll up and down one at a time that way. And you can also use the multi-dial and scroll. So you have multiple ways of selecting menu options and scrolling through the menus. And as with any modern rig, there's too many options. You just need to pick the one that you're the most comfortable with. So let's look at band edge beep. You can see it says on and default. And again, this is the way it comes programmed from the factory. So if we touch that, we have four choices. Off, on default, on user, and then on user and TX limit. So just really quickly, I'm going to turn it off, and we're going to go back and see what that does. And if I tune out of the amateur band, you notice there's no beep now, and the transmit indicator didn't change. So you get no indication that you've gone outside an amateur band. Uh, that doesn't change the fact that the radio won't transmit there. So if I try to transmit outside of the band, nothing. There's a you can hear a little relay click, but the transmit indicator doesn't come on, and the transmit indicator on the screen doesn't come on. If we come back inside the band, now you can see the radio goes into transmit. So you can turn it off if you don't want the beeps, but it doesn't it still doesn't allow you to transmit outside of amateur bands. Here's where it gets interesting, though. If we go back in here and we go to the band edge beep function, I'm going to put it back to default for a minute. And you notice the next menu option here, if I scroll to the next one on the next page, is RF squelch, which we'll talk about a little later. If I change this to user, when I go to the next page, I now have a new menu option here that says user bandage and I'm gonna go back one more and I'm gonna change it to user and TX limit and that still gives me this user bandage function and when I press that I now get a list of user defined band edges now the default band edges that are pre-filled for you are basically the same ones that are in the default mode. So for each band, it starts at 160 meters and works its way up. And for each of these, uh, here's 60 meters, 40 meters, and so on, each of these band edge limits is the entire band. So if we don't do anything else, putting it in the user mode right now, if I change nothing, it's the same as if it's in the default mode. Where this gets really helpful is if you don't have your extra class license or in other countries, whatever the class is that allows you to use the entire band in your country, uh, let's say you have general in the U.S. On 20 meters, for example, if we look at the ARRL band chart, you can see 
General is limited to 14,225 to 14,350 for voice or phone. And it's limited to 14,025 to 14,15 for um, digital modes and CW. So if we go up here to the 20 meter band, we see it's got the entire band in here. So if I press this, I can now change this. And let's change it to the general limits for the lower portion of the band. And you notice I can use the tuning dial here, or again, I can use the multi-dial, or I can actually just enter the frequency and press enter, and then it goes to the next one. So that's 14025, and then the top end of the data portion of the band is 14150. So we'll press enter and we have that in there. Now there were a bunch of unused slots down below. One of the things about the band edge um, ranges is they have to be in order. In other words, uh, after the top of this one, this next frequency here has to be higher than this. And then this has to be higher, and this has to be higher, and so on. You can't put anything in here out of order. So if I want to do the upper part of the 20-meter band, it really needs to go in this slot. But I don't really want to undo all the other bands above here. So if I touch and hold this, I now get another set of options. I can insert, delete, and we'll talk about default at the end here. So I want to insert and I'm going to insert a new user band edge so it pushed all the other ones down and we're going to make this one the phone portion of the band so 14 2 2 5 enter and then this will be the top of the band which is 14 350 enter so now I have two 20 meter slots and then if I scroll down, you'll see the rest of them all got moved down. And we now have 12 slots used. So let's go back out and see what that did. So now, if I tune down, when I get to below 25, which is the general portion of the band, my transmit indicator changed to a dotted line. And now, even though this is in the the amateur band for extras, the radio will not transmit here unless I'm inside the general portion of the band. And then if I scroll up, when I get up to 150, the top of the data part of the band, again, it changed to a dotted line, so it won't let me transmit here because this is not part of the general portion of the band. And then I can keep going up until I get to 225, which is the general portion of the band. And now, once again, it'll allow me to transmit. And then if we go out of the band at the top, it beeps once again. So now the radio limits you to only transmitting in your portion of the band. And then of course, you can repeat this for all the other bands um, that have different segments uh, for different license classes. So let's go back to the menu one more time. And if we go to the function and we go to the user band edges, and let's say you've put a bunch of different limits in here, you've added some other ones, and you've either kind of messed up how you wanted to do it, or for whatever reason you want to go back to the defaults, if you touch and hold any one of them, it doesn't matter which one, we get this menu that says insert, delete, and default. If I hit default, it says reset all edges. And if I say yes, it puts everything back to the way it was in the default mode. So I've only got 11 slots now, and they're all back to the entire portion of the band. The 20 meter pieces that I entered are gone. So you can always reset it back to the defaults. So that's the user band edge mode. And I think that's a very handy function to have. Thanks for watching another segment. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Cured Smoke.